In this lesson, I'd like to show you how to reset a workspace, how to navigate inside a document, how to move document groups, how to reveal hidden tools, and just some basic shortcuts for working with the type tool and the selection tool. Let's start with resetting a workspace. By default, when you first open InDesign CS4, all of your panels are stacked in this icon view with the name of each panel next to it. As you click on each one, you can expose the panel. You can also view them as a stack instead of in this icon view by clicking on the double left facing triangles and you can expand the panels. Notice that when I click on the expand or collapse panels icon that the document automatically adjusts. This is new inside of InDesign CS4. Let's say I need the pages panel and I drag it out, but by accident, I close it. And let's say I close links as well. So let's drag out links and I close that. Now the first thing you should know is that if you close any of your panels, you can go back to window and you can find them again. But what about if you wanted to get back to that workspace, that original workspace? Well, you can go up to window and down to workspace and there are some pre-built workspaces in here. One of the ones I like is what's new. It highlights everything in the menu and shows you exactly what's changed inside of InDesign CS4. You can also go to reset. Now we're currently on essentials. So if I say reset essentials, it'll reset the workspace just like the way it was when you first opened InDesign. Now as time goes on and you spend more time inside of InDesign, you might want to make yourself a new workspace. You can open up any panels you'd like and arrange them however you'd like and then define that as a new workspace. I definitely urge you to do this as you spend more time in InDesign. How about navigating inside of a document? Well, first of all, you've got two tools inside of InDesign, two very basic tools, the zoom tool, which is the magnifying glass. That means as you click, it zooms in. If you hold alt on windows or option on a Mac, it turns into the negative zoom. All right, you've also got a hand tool. The hand tool lets you click and drag and move a page. A new feature of CS4 is that InDesign now has the navigator panel built right into the hand tool. The navigator panel used to be located under window, object and layout. It's now gone. The navigator panel, which has existed for a long time inside of Photoshop and in Illustrator, allowed you to zoom inside of a panel and move a red box around to tell InDesign exactly where you wanted to zoom into. Now built into CS4, you can click and hold with the hand tool and it gives you a red box. So I can move that red box down to page two and when I let go, it zooms into page two. Let's try this again. I click and hold and again, I get this red box. Let's say I wanna go up to page one again, but I really wanna zoom in on this right column. You can use your left and right arrow or your up and down arrow to make this box bigger or smaller so that when you let go, it zooms in exactly where the red box is. I'm gonna go back up to view and I'm gonna to go to fit page and window. A lot of tools in Adobe InDesign have a small black triangle located next to the tools icon. That means there's other tools underneath this tool. For instance, if I click and hold on the basic graphics frame, I can now see I'm on the rectangle tool and I can go down to the ellipse tool. Okay, new in CS4 is you can simply right click and then choose that new tool. If you're on a Macintosh, you can hold down the control key and just regular click and you can switch from tool to tool. Guides have changed a little bit inside of InDesign CS4 as well. You can still drag guides out and if you drag a guide over the pasteboard area, you make a pasteboard guide. If you drag the guide and drop it inside of a page, you make a page guide. But what about if you want to get rid of all these guides? New inside of InDesign is that now you can right click or control click on a Mac, the top ruler, and simply say, delete all guides. And that's a pretty easy way to get rid of all of your guides. And now for just a couple of basic shortcuts. The two major tools that you use here in InDesign is probably this selection tool and the type tool and you find that you have to navigate back and forth between them quite a bit. So here's a few shortcuts for you. If you're on the black arrow, the selection tool, 
and you're over a text frame and you need to get to the type tool, simply double click and that turns it right into the type tool. Now, let's say you want to get back to the black arrow. The keyboard shortcut for the black arrow or the selection tool is V. And of course, V right now isn't going to work because we're in the type box. Hitting the escape key will bring you back to the black arrow. So just remember that double clicking while on the black arrow gets you your type tool. And to get back to the selection tool is escape. And those are some quick shortcuts for you inside of InDesign CS4, helping you get those essential skills you need to master InDesign.